Hi, thanks for watching. This is going to be a very short video about Notion.so and how to take some notes just using shortcut keys and avoiding to use the mouse. I find that when you use the mouse, um, it can distract you. You can find yourself looking for menus and whatnot. So, but shortcut keys really speed up this process and allow you to focus on the discussion, the lecture, or what's happening around you. So, um, yeah, let's let's get started here. Um, I've got a, a blank page, and you can create a page down here by clicking New Page right there. And so I got a page here, and and you have to understand that when you type something on here, this is a block. By default, it's a text block. But every time you hit Enter, that is a new block. Now, you can have block after block after block. That allows you to quick quickly grab those blocks and drag them around to reorganize them. And if you want to read uh, my review, I talk more about how to do that. Um, and it's great for after the, the lecture's done and you're done with your notes to going and reorganizing and processing those notes. So let's say here, IT Babble Apostle blog post. So let's say I want to do um, a heading. Well, if I hit the backspace, I'm sorry, the backslash, um, I get this huge list and there's heading right here. Um, and as you can see, there are, oh my gosh, there are so many things here. And then it will, is it right? Yeah, it's coming up here in a second. And then it comes back here. But if you want to, you can just type in heading. Oops. Heading one. Okay. Notion.so. There we go. There we go. That's awesome. And when I hit enter, it defaults to um, a regular text block. So let's say I want to do bullet points now. Well, again, I can backslash bullet points, but I think this um, slows you down. So they have made shortcut keys very purposefully. If you hit control shift four, you get a to-do list, you know, check boxes, five is bullet points, six is a numbered list, Some seven is a collapsible list, list. Uh, eight is for syntax, and nine is for creating another page that you can link to, I, I guess, very handy. Um, we're gonna do five for bullet points. Um, one, two, and three are headings. So five for bullet points. And you know, here you can talk about whatever it, it was, you, you know, uh, signing up, um, pricing, um, ease of use, you know, really simple things. But let's say I wanted to, I don't wanna do bullet points anymore. I can just hit backspace and now I'm, I'm doing text again. Um, and I'm going to, let's say I want a divider. There we go. Now I have a divider for a whole nother section. It's all, it's great. And I can do another um, heading. Now the heading, there's another thing you can do and that's with markdown. So if you hit and then a space, you, you can see you get lots of, lots of options there. I don't know if it supports every, every, uh, syntax with markdown, but it, but it does do the headings. And I find that a little quicker to do than going here and heading, um, or control shift one, you just hit this, you just hit this, uh, hashtag. If you do two hashtags in a space, it does heading two, um, three hashtags in a space and head does heading three. There is no heading four to select from. So, and, and finally, the last thing here, I'm going to um, put a divider, is the at symbol. The at symbol, here you can put in dates, and this is very handy, so whenever I'm uh, in a meeting and I'm taking notes, I'll put at today, and it remembers it that date. So a week from now when I look at it, it's not gonna say at today or at 10 days ago, it'll tell me at January 4th, 2022 something like that. So it gives you lots of options here to do that. You can also tag people just like in Twitter or in Slack or in a bunch of other um, at Google Docs. Um, you can also do at and you can link to other pages, which is super great, which is super great. So those are some three really quick tips. I hope you found them helpful. Um, I know I really enjoy using Notion and uh, I hope you do too. <music>